How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this boot review and unboxing of the Adidas F50s. These are the elite tiers, so you're looking for around roughly 210 to 220 euros or pounds for these elite models. And it's the white and gold colorway of these boots. Now we're just going to be running through the sizing of these, especially if you haven't seen any of our previous editions and you're watching this for the first time. We're just gonna help you out to see if these boots are for you or if you should go for a different pair of Adidas football boots, such as the Predators, the Copas, which is much more accommodating for other feet types if these don't fit you. So the first thing is if you have narrow to normal feet types, as you can tell for a speed boot, much more designed for these kind of feet types, we recommend first going true to size, your usual Adidas footwear sizing, and then just going a half size down, and that should give you a nice snug and tight fit, especially for narrow feet, for normal feet as well, you can go half size down from your usual Adidas footwear sizing and it will give you a nice snug fit as well. But if you'd like to have a bit more space after doing up the laces, especially on the toe box area um, and also midfoot, a bit of movement for, for throughout the boots, then just go true to size. For very narrow feet, if you want that snug fit, you may have to go one full size down. So we always recommend if you have like a nearby Adidas store or like a place that sells football boots, to actually go there and try them on in different sizings because they will have many sizings over there in their store. And then you can find the right fit for you if you like it snug or a bit of space in the boots. So yeah, it's, it's, it's more of a rough estimate that we're giving to you if it were for narrow feet is anywhere from a half to one full size down. Normal feet is true to size to a half size down. And then for wide feet, this is a 50-50 situation. So best to go true to size. And then if it's too snug and tight after you've done up the laces and you feel like you're gonna get a blister from the heel cushion at the back, go a half size up and see how they feel. If they feel comfortable for you in midfoot, toe box and the back of the heel, then stick with them and it should be a nice fit for you. If you feel like it's too tight in some certain areas or too snug in some, some, some other areas, then that can mean that some certain areas is not quite a right fit for you. Let's say the toe box is too snug, even going a half or one size up, or there's just too much space there in the toe box area, then it's better to go for a different pair of boots as just the design of the boots doesn't fit your feet type. Better to go for, let's say, Predators, that is um, much more accommodating for wide and very wide feet types and also the Copa, Copa Pures, which is also available on our channels that we've done a review on. For very wide feet, again, shouldn't wear these, but if you really wanna try them on half to one full size up and just see from there if it fits you. If not, again, as we said, there's many options for you in the Adidas football boots that they offer. Now, in terms of sole plate wise, you can wear them on FG real grass pitches. Also when the pitch is a bit wet as well, um, but when it's too muddy, go for the soft ground additions with the, with the studs. If you play on AG as well and you don't want to spend two pairs and get the AG editions and spend let's say 450, 460 euros or pounds for two pairs of elite boots, which should be very expensive, then just go for the FG and play on the AG pitches for at least one to two weeks out of the box, just to get used to the boots itself, for the material to soften up and you're used to the speed boots. And then once the material soften up more, you can take them to team training and matches, which is much better that way for performance and also reducing any chance of it little injuries or you know twisting an ankle with the material you know being more softer and you're, you're used to the boots itself um, but yeah if you have a pair of these yourself as well an older colorway or you know right watching this now in a future reference make sure to leave a comment down below in terms of what you think when you brought them as it really does help out people that are watching this now make make a decision to see if these boots are for them or not and then they can also comment and reply and get a little community going for these adidas f50 elites but it's a really nice touch that Adidas have brought out the brought back these um, throwback boots of the speed boots that were very popular, uh, Adidas F50s. So for sure, we highly recommend it for our, from our end. With the durability so far, we've used it for about two months and it's still going fairly strong. Not not too much, you know, not even any minor issues in terms of wear and tear. Even wearing them on AG, you might see maybe the only thing is just give them a good clean with the black bits and of the boots being dirty. That's the only thing so far. But we'll give you an update after you know three months or six months down the line of how the boots are going. But thanks again for watching this review and unboxing. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave, make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time for another review and unboxing in the near future. All the very best and take care.